Hello and welcome to Zanata Consulting's beginner series. We're continuing to talk about Zoho Work Drive. And on this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about sharing and sharing permissions inside Zoho Work Drive. From Zanata Consulting, I'm Brett Martin. And I'm Tyler Colton. Let's get right on into it. Okay, so we've created a couple of folders here, a couple of documents inside the sales collateral folder. And one of the things you're going to want to do when you share, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You actually can just check the document and then you'll have the various sharing permissions you can set here, or you can go into the document. And if you go into the document, once you're inside the document, you will also be able to share it by using the share button up here. And basically you can go ahead and uh, click into here and get the exact same settings. We're just gonna go ahead and look at this from just the general list view that you would have here. So a couple ways you can share things. If I go ahead and I click into share, you'll see that right away, it's already being shared with everybody who is a member of this sales collateral team folder. And there are two members of that. And if you watch one of our previous videos, we'll talk, we'll talk about how to do that. Uh, the other thing is you can set up a permalink that is available to team folder members. And you can go ahead and you know, permalink is someone that will always be accessed. It never changes. You can go ahead and change that visibility. You can say it's team member folders. It's anybody in the demo account or anybody on the internet. And you can go ahead and make those changes to that directly. So when a permalink is set up though, it's only gonna be in view only mode when you set it up to anybody on the internet. If you do anyone in Zanata demo, you will have the ability to change it to then view and comment or edit. And of course, if it's a team folder, then everybody in the team, whatever permissions they're given when they're a team member in there, they'll be able to look at it that way. And you can copy that permalink as well. But what we wanna look at here is perhaps setting up an external link. And so uh, you can do this by just clicking, I wanna set up a new external share link. And let's say, since this is the about us list, um, this is you know to share with customers. And this is going to be just to tell them about it. Now, again, you can give it edit. You can have view and comment, or you can have just view. Since it's an about us document, you probably just want to make it viewable. If it was something a little more sensitive, maybe you'd want to set a password. Maybe you want to set an expiration on it. Maybe you're sending some, something that they have to look at and respond to or comment on in a short period of time, or you just want it to go away after a period of time because it's a price list perhaps, and you're going to update it every week. Uh, you can allow people to download it and uh, you can request the user data. So get information on the actual person that is looking at that, which is also a super nice feature. Um, so really a person's looking at will have to share their data before they can actually view that document. Uh, in this case, we're just going to set it as view and we're going to go ahead and create that. And now you can go ahead and drop email addresses in here. You can go ahead and copy the links, but this permanent link has been set up. And now one of the nice things is whenever you click on here, you can see all of the various links that have been created and what they were for. So the share to customers, customers is here, the permalink is here, and then you know everybody in the folder. So really easy to kind of set those up those various permissions up and share your documents either externally or internally. And again, because of the way this is set up, this applies to folders as well. You can actually create a folder and allow completely external team members to upload documents, edit documents, work on it. So it's really great for collaborating, not only internally, but also externally in your organization as well. And that's really all there is to it. That's how you share documents and folders inside of Zoho WorkDrive. Thank you so much for listening to our tutorial and we'll see you next time.